The novel An Abundance of Catherines is young adult fiction by John Green. I feel mixed but ultimately negative about this work and here's why. If you've only heard the title of this book, then you might be under the impression that this is, it's about some kind of human cloning gone wrong plot that ends with an army of Catherine clones taking over the world. Unfortunately, the title of the book is in reference to a quirk regarding the main character. He only dates girls named Catherine, not intentionally, however. He just finds a girl attractive, starts talking to her, and then boom, turns out her name is Catherine. There's a few things that are unrealistic about this. There's the obvious statistical anomaly of every girl he dates having the name Catherine, but also that this nerdy, reclusive genius who obsessively works on projects over attending social events would have accrued a total of 19 GFs by the time he reaches early 20s. He also incessantly whines about how he can't get a girlfriend and spoilers the happy ending conclusion doesn't involve him learning how to live without a girlfriend for longer than a few months it ends with the less well thought out and meaningful ending wherein he doesn't learn anything or grow and instead just gets what he wants the protagonist also has this obsession with having a quote eureka moment and it's a quirk that gets annoying the moment it's introduced on the first page Age and only gets worse from there. He also loves to go on these little tangential rants about a random thing being discussed at the moment. It's in a very meta fashion, mentioned a few times by other characters, how that makes him, as a character, terrible at telling stories, and it does. Ideally, those tangents wouldn't take away from the actual story being told to the reader, but it does, and it's annoying. The comedy is the worst part of this book. If John Green had taken every line he thought would get a laugh and was just so quirky XD and systematically removed it from the book, it would be at least a bearable read. It might sound like I'm being overly harsh, but take a look at this excerpt. Colin turned his head and squinted up at him. What the hell is this? asked Tassan, almost shouting. She dumped me, answered Colin. So I heard. Listen, I'd love to comfort you, but I could put out a house fire with the contents of my bladder right now. Hassan breezed past the bed and opened the door to the bedroom. God, Singleton, what did you eat? It smells like, uh, puke, puke. I <laughs> And as Hassan screamed, Colin thought, oh, right, the toilet should have flushed. Forgive me if I missed, Hassan said, returning. So, okay, to clarify, Colin shat in the toilet and didn't flush, and then Hassan pissed all over the floor. <sighs> also, notice the use of the word fugger. That gets annoying and old pretty quick. Uh, and he makes a joke about his dick. The only reason I assume Colin not flushing his shit and Hassan pissing all over the floor is supposed to be a joke at all is because of how unnecessary it is the rest of the plot. And so you'd expect it to at least be entertaining on its own right. It's a shame because a sharper, smarter sense of humor could have been the Viagra to the classic cock that is this narrative. And I should know it's not funny seeing as how I'm the arbiter of comedy. If you want a funny joke, then how about this? See, the two main characters, Colin and Hassan, are an atheist and a Muslim, respectively. And it makes sense that they'd be best friends. What would their love for? The Christian genocide. <laughs> In all seriousness, I can relate to Colin's frustration with his son for not following his own religious beliefs while simultaneously trying to convert Colin to said beliefs, even if said conversion attempts are done in jest. It's cool that each character's religion can be explored even if it's not on the forefront. It helps a lot in making each character feel more fleshed out and lifelike. So in conclusion, I can see why people like this book. It has vivid characterization and is slow but still relatively easy 
read. That being said, I can't see why anyone would love this novel. The moral at the end felt shoehorned in an attempt to convince the readers that they hadn't completely wasted their time. The jokes are flaccid and the character development is just okay. Plus are those quirks that make the novel so quirky, like saying fog instead of fuck, quickly get annoying.